Bless up my viewers, welcome back to the channel you know, continue to like, share, comment and subscribe. Also turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified whenever we drop fresh news and reviews. OMG, that is a word or a phrase that is always on the tongues of Jamaicans, both yard and abroad. Nobody not safe in a Jamaica my viewers, I tell you that straight forward, nobody not safe. Right now, the brother on a sip on a scream is a dancehall artist goes by the name of Slick Boss, my viewers. Me get a portion of video with him, my viewers, right now. Me are telling you, saying I want a video, me shock, my viewers, because I never believe, say, artists can be treated like some normal people. Me are telling you, say, badness in a Jamaica reach so far where no man is safe. You could have artist, you could have movie star, you could have athlete. Nobody not safe in a Jamaica, my viewers. One of the videos where I said that brother yeah, get about 200 bucks from two men just up in a some hoodie and cover up them face like, you know, 287. So we are wonder how we really go on, my viewers. Make the artist I get so much bucks in him face. I tell you, my viewers, about 200 bucks in I get. One of the time, two and the one I get bucks from. Left, right, left, right. I wonder if it's a, it's a ring him there now. Or if him turn a boxer. Viewers, I tell you say badness in a Jamaica is at its highest peak right now. Where nobody not see if we don't know the confrontation between slick boss and these men are why I'm do. Because I'm not really follow up them type of news on my viewers. But I tell you say I have to give you no piece of the news because when I see the video, I say my viewers, when I see the video, I shock. To my soul, my viewers, I never know a man could have get so much box. All the mouth full of red substance, my viewers. The man them deal with slip boss wicked and make it worse in you know, my viewers upon live video the man them deal with himself. Upon the video in you know, my viewers, Jano, I tell you say Jamaica. Badness take over Jamaica right now. I don't think the, the, the government can do nothing about it. The Minister of Security. The, the commissioner of police, them have to just sit on one side and I wonder how them can curve the violence in a Jamaica because it's not only the innocent doorstep it there, it also at the doorsteps of the artists in Jamaica. But I'm telling you, you know, my viewers, enough of them artists have a lot of corruption behind them name. We're not pointing a finger, we're not going to say a he, she or the old lady. But enough of them artists have a lot of corruption, a lot of violence behind them name. Enough of them get themselves mixed up in a too much things, my viewers. Because we don't know say artists in a mix up with scamming and scamming and the weapon buying buy and them things for the little old dirty corner boy them in our community. So my viewers, that are my few pointers pan slip bars to a right now. When we get more in a different upload later, my viewers. But right now, I'm showing a video at the start in the, the, the the upload where you don't see a brother at a gas station. If you watch the video, good, there are two persons on the left standing, a male and a female. And the gas pump attendant was right there being robbed, and nobody could have done anything. They not even look, they not even come over, come ask if the pump attendant was okay after the robbery or anything. They stand up the same way I look. I run the little miss of run go inside. But if you was a this I go on in a Jamaica right now, man I rob people brawling there. I take your little own where you work so hard for. It them just come and take it cause what? It come like nothing in a Jamaica if you as to the man them. The man them had do them thing brawling in a middle day. So you have to wonder if Janu, my viewers. Sometimes we can't even find word for even say, my viewers. But we are telling us say the struggle is real, and there should be a stop to all of the madness in our country, my viewers. 
yeah man, the country need to be pure. Get rid of majority of them violence, yeah. What well, happened in my country, my viewers? Because the man go rob the female right at the gas station, bare hell in the day. And there's nobody there to do anything about it. Nobody to stop it. Nobody to say, hey, yeah, we know, say, sometime you know want to get yourself involved. Figure just go try to play a hero and then lose your three points in the process. But we can do something about it. Yeah, man, some of you, as these are just some of the pointers where we want to figure out right now because, trust me, something needs to be done in the country. It just can't continue to happen like this. But there should be a stop to all of these madness in Jamaica right you now. What we see, people are losing their life. It's like life means nothing to nobody these days. As a quint, a man want to go for your machine come, come put some corn in you. If you step on a man toe, you can't tell a man sorry again. A man want to juke, juke you up with him knife or pull him machine from him waist, my viewers. That this is reaching a Jamaica right now. But there should be some intervention. The man them heart to cool. I'm telling you, my viewers, the man them heart to get too cool. Right you now. Really, really cool. But my viewers, we are continuing to give you some update throughout the day. As soon as it becomes... Um, Available. We have some difficulty with the lighting from morning. Yeah, man, from both after eight this morning, we don't have no current. So we kind of half track a little bit with the upload them today. But we are trying to put in as much video as we can throughout the day. So when we get all of the updates. Them. So right now, Manchester teacher charged with rape of 11 year old girl. A 29 year old teacher from Manchester has been charged with the rape of an 11 year old girl from the parish. Miguel Spoon Griffiths of Patrick district was charged by detectives assigned to the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offense and Child Abuse. He has also been charged with grievous sexual assault and absent publication following incident that allegedly occurred between December 2021 and June 2022. The police say Griffiths reportedly sent photographs and videos of his genital to the child. He allegedly later met with the girl in Newport District, Manchester, where he sexually assaulted and raped her. A report was made to the police and an investigation launched. Griffiths was pointed out to the police and subsequently charged. My viewers, at this we just did that about a little while. The same situation that we just said that about. Where all the teacher them, my viewers, the teacher them were supposed to I look up and I try to help the students them of today get an education. And them are the majority of the foolishness in our country. Teacher are real, pastor are real picnic. All this a teacher, yeah, my viewers, they forget dash well, lock up. Behind the bars, man. He's not supposed to see the light of day. None at all, my viewers. He's not supposed to see the light of day. None at all. I want to tell you, I don't supposed to see the light of day. It's not a joke thing, my viewers. Yeah, man. He's not supposed to see the light of day. None at all. He forget to lock up and dash away all the key. How can you do something like this? You are a teacher. A big man. We're supposed to be showing some examples to the youths. And in spite of that, you yourself go and touch up, touch up the people in Pitney. And you are a big man, my viewers. When these cases go before the judge, man, the judge should not even have a second thinking. Them for just dash away, straight forward behind the bars. Yeah, man, we don't need to hear nothing from your court. We just need you to just get dash away, same time, my viewers. That may believe, but if you don't believe something different, you can leave a comment down in our comment section. St. James Police seized illegal firearm. The police in St. James has seized an illegal firearm during an operation on Ramble Hill Main Road in the parish early Tuesday morning. The Montego Bay police say about 1.58 a.m. Lawmen were in the area when they saw two men on a motorbike. The driver of the motorcycle was signaled to stop. However, he allegedly disobeyed. 
the instruction of the police and drove into a different direction. The police say during the men's escape, a browning pistol fell from one of them and was retrieved by the police team. No one was arrested. So what we see right here, so it's like the brother dash for the firearm, but I don't understand how comes you just drop the firearm, so we don't know. Leave some comment in the comment section. Senton police launch major operation. The police are urging members of the public to avoid the gen general vicinity of Little Duns River in Ocheria, Senton, where they currently conducting an operation. Following the knockings of a man in the area on Saturday evening, he is 25 year old Roshane Osin, otherwise called Breda, called Breda of Geisel, St. Mary, and Midsfield, Senton. Breda shot in Ocherias. The police are theorizing that his killing is linked to an ongoing gang feud. They are probing reports that a gang from the Steer Town community in the parish has a foothold in the area. Update gang violence allegedly behind the killing of a man in Senton. Acting head of the Senton police, Superintendent David White, told the news that the scene of the crime has been carding off to facilitate further investigation. Some of you, as, as we may tell you, say, left, right, and center, man, I get dashed in the place, my viewers. Be a dash where I go on. Uncle found guilty of raping an 11-year-old child. Boy, my viewers, I tell you, say, it's not an easy road. It's not an easy road, my viewers. Criminals. Criminals, 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 my viewers, criminals. Homeless man set ablaze. 500,000 reward for info and perpetrator. A reward of 500,000 is being offered by the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development for information that leads to the arrest of those responsible for setting a homeless man on fire on Monday morning in Eero Circle, Central Kingston. The man, identified as Lionel Johnson, died after he was rushed to the hospital by members of the Jamaica Constable Force. An outraged Minister of Local Government and Rural Development, Desmond Mackenzie, made the announcement of the reward being offered in a statement issued by the minister on Monday evening in which he condemns the action of the perpetrators. This is an absolutely savage act while we still don't know the motive for the heinous crime. The, suf the suffering channel that Mr. Johnson would have endured as well as the taking of his life reflects for me, the lowest level of depravity, of depravity, said Mr. Mackenzie. He was known to Kingston and St. Poor Relief Department, which regular support him by providing food, and at times he stayed at a night shelter at Church Street. Mackenzie added, continue, Mackenzie said, I condemn this horrible act, and I call on my fellow Jamaicans to do what is right and bring the perpetrators to justice.